You know, after talking to so many people on a regular basis, especially when it comes to dating and relationships, when it comes to people in their 40s and 50s and 60s, I think one of the most difficult things to do is date. And one of the most difficult reasons to date in that 40s or 50s era, 60s, is because we cannot choose potential anymore. We, cannot, we can no longer use potential as a factor. See, back in our 20s or 30s even, we say, well, you have potential. You know, you ask them what they want to be, what's their goals, and you realize, oh, that person has potential. And, you know, you ask them, where are you now? And you see where they are going. They have potential. But many of us feel like in our 50s and 60s, if you ain't there yet, chances are you're not going to ever get there again. And I think that's why making it so hard to choose somebody because what you see is what you get. That's all you get. So it makes us, it makes it harder, more difficult to date in your older years. And when I say older, I mean like 50s and 60s, even 40s these days. People with 40s thinking that it's hard to. And because a lot of times the second reason is, um, like I said before, everybody already have their things, 50s and 60s. We already have our own house, their own cars. So it becomes very hard. That becomes a hard because we can't grow together. See, back in our 20s, we can buy a house together. We can pay it off together. We can raise our kids together. Now we have 50. We don't have the same kids. My kids ain't your kids. My home ain't your home. My career ain't your, ain't your business. So it's like, what's keeping us? What would put us together? Why? How would we? How would this work? I can't use potential because you're already grown. You ain't there. You ain't there yet. And we have nothing to keep us together, like the glue, like the kids, you know, like the the things that we have built. The one thing that we must use now is love. I think this is the stage where love is the strongest, where it should be the strongest. Love is the one thing. Love is becomes the glue. See, many of us, yes, at the, you know, we got married early, we got kids early. Things didn't work out, so now we are on the market. Now we are here. Now we are 50, 60, single, but we want someone. Even though social media say, I don't want nobody, I'm perfectly fine. A lot of us want someone, and let's be honest, we want to be with someone. Because at this point in our lives, being with someone is, something is caught in it. Something is caught in us, being with someone. Now, I hear a lot of people come on social media I always got to defend, I don't want nobody. Well, I, you don't have to do that. Matter of fact, a lot of times that says more that you want someone, especially when the one they have to defend themselves and always got to say the same, I don't want to be with nobody. I, you know, so if you don't want to be with nobody, okay. And that, it's not nobody's business. I'm talking to the ones who want someone. A lot of us want someone. Love has to be what we practice. You see, back in our early stages, within, it, it wasn't love that kept... It wasn't love that made us grow then. See, back in the days, it was instinct. Back in the days, it was fight or flight. It was survival. Back in the days, I mean, you know, back in the days, we did things because somebody told us that we couldn't. It was, you know, we looked for reasons and because of this, because of that. Now, it must be in a new era. The new era is we can't fight anymore. We, we are done fighting. We are done all those things. That we, see, what we did back then ain't working for us now. That's why we here right now. What we did back then ain't working for us. The one thing that we didn't do back then that we need now is trust and love. Now that has to, see that's how we get elevated. If you can't trust and love, your elevation is gonna be back in your 20s or 30s where survival was necessary and needed. And still, if you have that right now, it's not gonna work. It doesn't work for us. Now is trust and love. It's about surrendering. Stop worrying about being hurt. Stop being afraid of being hurt, getting your feelings hurt, being rejected. That stuff don't work now. It worked then. Look at us. Just look at us now. It doesn't work now. We have to open our hearts. And you know, sometimes when you open up your heart, it's where you, you actually connect to someone. But a lot of us give in this shitty, scared love. That's why it doesn't come back. Because what comes back is exactly what you're given. That shitty, scared experience of love. What you call love. You gotta open up your heart. Listen, I'm telling you, listen. If you didn't hear what I said, see where you are now? You can't do what you used to do back then. You can't be insecure and scared anymore. You can't have all this fear in your heart, fear of rejection, fear of being left. That didn't that ain't gonna work now. We had a new time, a new era. We had a new place in this world. Now 
This is the three little pig story that I always talk about. The three little pigs. The first house was straw. The second house was stick. The third house is the brick. This is, this is the love. See, the last house was fear, which is a stick. It was fear and insecurities because, you know, somebody broke your heart, so you lived in the stick house. It could always be broken down. Now, that was broken down. No, look at us now. It's time to move to the brick house where the big bad wolf can't get to us. But love is the, love has to be that house. Love has to be that house. Love has to be that house. Because when that house is built on love and trust, I'm talking about on the, on the inside. We're not worried. At this place, if you want to meet a good partner, a decent partner, you have to have love. You are worried about the wrong things. But men these days and women these days, don't worry about men and women who you don't want. Focus on the ones that you do want. See, when you think about love and you be loved, focus on the ones that you want because your energy actually goes out and attract what you want. Your energy go, but some of you have so much doubts and pain and childhood trauma and insecurities and this and that. Listen to people talking about nobody wants you when you hit 40 or 50. Nobody gonna want you. Nobody gonna be with you. They want the young girls. And, want. and so then you have those things and those things are making it hard for you. They're making it harder for you because when you think about those things, you read everybody wrong because you're already reading people according to what you are thinking. If you're already thinking that all the men want the young women, men don't want this, men looking for that, then you're already reading the world wrong. So therefore, you already set yourself up for failure already. Love has to be the glue. The glue is love. But first, you must be able to love and you must be ready to love. Somebody said, I am ready for love. We have to love now, man. It's not based on potential. We can't use potential anymore. We can't. We can't use our kids or, or, or growing a business. No, we have to use love. Give love a chance. But for a set love up on the inside, that no matter what happens, love is still there. If love is still there, no matter what happens, then you won't be afraid. Your house must be built on love. If it's not built on love at this point in our lives, we're wasting our time. And if it's built on love, what are you afraid of? What are you really afraid of? If it's really built on love, what are you afraid of? Think about it. If love is there, nobody can take it away from you. If you place it there intentionally, nobody could remove it. It ain't going nowhere. It ain't ever leaving you. Nobody could manipulate you with it. It's just a vibrational frequency that you will recognize your partner. See, the only way to recognize somebody is with the energy that you have. When you have love on the inside, you recognize love on the outside. But until you have it on the inside, everybody looks like hate. Everybody looks like players and dogs on the outside. Understand, whatever you carry on the inside is what you recognize on the outside. The only thing that you, the only way to recognize a man or a woman, your partner, is when you carry them on the inside first. You're trying to find a man or find a woman. You can't find nothing. Nothing is lost, nothing is missing. There's nobody lost. That's why you can't find them. There's no, men ain't lost. Women ain't lost. You can't find a man or woman. You have to recognize a man or a woman. And when you begin to understand that recognition starts on the inside, you can only recognize what you are. You can recognize what you carry. See, for those of us who are recognizing all these bad things and instantly bad things, bad things, bad things, you got to see what you're carrying. You got to focus on what you're carrying. Recognition is an is a inside thing. It's an internal thing. You got to see first. You got to create it first. You got to be inside of you first. You got to be internal before you can experience it or recognize it on the outside. Oh, love has to be the glue now. Love has to be the inspiration. See, love will inspire people to be better. Love will inspire our partners to be the best that they can. Love inspires. Love makes you love yourself more. Love in me makes me love you more. And loving me can make me love me more. When you love me, I can love me more. Listen, sometimes those those folks have never received the love that they needed to be inspired. Love is inspiration. And now they know 50s and 60s still ain't inspired. We don't know what people went through. You have to give a chance. You have, you have, listen, we gotta take risk. But when you have love on the inside first, the risk is smaller. When you have love on the inside, you ain't afraid to lose it on the outside. Inspiration, y'all. 
love is the glue i'm just saying you have a beautiful night let me know what questions you have let me know what you think about in the comics i mean in the comment section all right god be blessed peace